What's going on everybody? It's your boy John from the Game Dude here welcoming you to some more Daganropa V3 Killing Harmony. In the last episode we got everything set up and ready to go for Trial 6. Now, speaking of Trial 6, say it my first time recording this. Because in typical Gamerlock fashion everything decides to crash at the very end. But anyway, I love you all. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. Um, we crashed right where uh psyche the first psyche taxi begins um so i know it's the answers up till then luckily though i have people to confirm even though i missed answers i ended up recovering and getting to full health by that point Woo! we were doing things we actually were making some form of headway it, it was just taking a lot longer which is you know okay because this stuff would have had to be cut out Anyway, want to save you guys time and yeah, so this is my final recording session of the game You guys will get this in two weeks stents, so that's exciting But yeah, again, we started it off. We talked to Himiko figured out what's going on with her We're having another class trial, but this will be the final one, right? Yeah, that's right. This will be the final trial Maki Maybe he accepted because he couldn't handle Kibo's destruction anymore. No, that can't be the reason. That's right. Even Kibo said it himself. He'd only be able to withstand the Exosouls until dawn. What are you then why did Monokuma agree to this so easily? I, I can't say that for sure, but we cannot get distracted by that. That's true. That's true. No matter what he's plotting. Hey. We are ready to end the killing game, right? Yeah. With this class trial. I wonder if Kibo's okay. I hope they didn't do anything weird to him while they were disarming him. No. I'm sure they won't. If anything happened to Kibo right now, it wouldn't lead to a fair trial if, if that Monokuma insists upon. Then okay, the four of us and Kibo, combining the marks of our friendship, can overcome the final class, the final class trial. You'd think if I've read it the second time, I'd be able to read it correctly. No, no, no. That's too difficult. It's okay. Yeah, unfortunately, like I said, because this is not the first rodeo, there's going to be some things that, like, I have to make sure that I still pseudo react to, but it, I just I feel bad because they're like they become pseudo reactions. They're not reactions, and I just it's unfortunate. The, oh shoot! The next time we come out of the trial grounds, it'll all be over, right? We can win, right? Of course. It's okay. It'll be okay. This class trial should be easier than the others. Why? Because. Up until now, we've had to find the culprits among the people in our group during the class trials. That's why we couldn't work together, even if we wanted to. But this time, it's different. Ah, since the culprit isn't among us, we can work together without any doubts. Ah. We're gonna be... We're all gonna be working together this time. I can already feel more at ease. I Again, I feel Himiko here. Being able to work together is so great. I wish this happened sooner at the beginning, when there were 16 of us. But now there's only four of us standing here, plus Kibo, who's coming later. Um. We're about to head to the last battle. Why are you depressed? Sorry, you're right. Everyone, Thank you for waiting. Kibo. That was fast, Kibo. His weapons have been removed. I suppose I don't have to worry about him attacking. What? what? Are you disappointed? Did you prefer your sci-fi gear after all? No, it's not that. Everyone. I'm just very sorry. Kibo bowed at the waist to us. <sighs> I acted recklessly and put you all in serious danger. I'm sorry. Very, very sorry. What? What's wrong? You're totally different from before when you were in battle mode. Um, Shuichi, you told me earlier not to give up hope, right? Uh, okay. That's right. I... I finally realized that you were right. My inner voice told me. Hmm. Your inner voice? I thought you couldn't hear that anymore. Well, I had the Monokubas, or Monokubas repair me in addition to removing my battle gear. And now for some reason, I can hear my inner voice again. So we can hear it again after the repairs. But it looks like his hair looks like an antenna. Does it mean that it wasn't a decoration? And now that I think about it, what is his inner voice exactly? What does he hear? <laughs> I was wrong to destroy everything, to avoid to lose, losing to despair. Even if I'd followed through, there would have been no hope or future left afterward. In which case, my actions would have just merely resulted in a different form of despair altogether. I do not expect you to forgive me for what I did was foolish, but I will you allow me to fight alongside you? I want to help you find the truth. Please. I'm... Of course, Kibo. That's what I've wanted from the start. 
If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be able to do this. So you will allow me? Oh, you seem very angry, Samuki. Would you prefer not I not help? I'm not mad. I'm just holding myself back. When someone says please uh, that strongly, I always want to respond with, but I refuse. But I can read the mood here, so I'm holding back. Well, of course. It's okay now. Of course you can fight with us, Kibo. There's a big wall between living things and objects, but you're our friend, Kibo. Thank you. Oh, by the way, Maki, I've been meaning to ask you, but what is that vacuum cleaner you're carrying? I see. It's a bug vac. I think Kokichi designed it and Mew make, or had Mew make it. Ah, uh, yes. Gato had mentioned something about tiny bugs before. Okay. Yes, I thought it could be a clue to something, but <coughs> we couldn't... <coughs> we can't seem to catch any bugs with it. It doesn't seem like there are any. So it really was just Gato's imagination after all. Wait a minute. It might be too soon to determine that. Can we wait until I've examined with my eyes at least? Your eyes? What do you mean, Kibo? What good can your eyes do? It's not like you've got good eyesight, right? That's true. I, until I exalt my zoom function. Now he can call all the peeps he wants to. Absolutely. Your zoom function? Yes. It was in my lab, next to the jetpack and a rocket launcher. Thanks to the zoom function, my vision has increased a hundredfold. Huh? A hundredfold. What did you say? That's a power-up that goes way past your default settings. What? This is the true talent of being an ultimate robot. Because I am a robot, I can evolve in ways that humans simply cannot. I finally accepted that. There are notable differences between us, but there is nothing for me to be ashamed of. Also... Because with my talent, it's possible that I can save you all. Kibo took the bug back from Imaki and it It's worth a shot. Maximum zoom. My vision is on par of that of a mic with that of a microscope. Maki, I'll borrow this bug back for a moment. He stared at it intensely. I see it. I'll print out this memory. The crazy. Just before Kibo printed out a picture uh, from right out of its mouth. He took it from his lips and handed it to me. Huh? This is... Monokuma? Hey. Are these small bugs what Gonta was on about? Yes. The human eye would not be able to see things that, that exist on a nanoscopic level. Mm. For Gonta to have noticed that his vision really was superhuman. 20 to the point six to five to be exact. Hey. Hey, what are these things holding? Are those cameras? Well, then. Why don't we ask them? Huh? You can talk to this? Leave it to me. Yes. I have already installed an augmented hearing function. What was that? I guess anything is possible. Start talking now, or I'll squish you one by one. Whatever function you serve, you'll be unable to carry it out. Do you accept these terms? Kibo asked in a way that made it clear that he was not up for negotiation. They call themselves Nanokumas. Apparently, they're members of the Monocuts. What? This little thing? Then there were actually six monocups? Not quite. These don't exist as individuals, but rather as a hive mind. They travel through the air in a swarm, covering every square inch of this campus. So it's not just one. It's a whole swarm of monocubs. If they're that small, they could have been in my nose or mouth, and I'd never know. I don't like the thought of that. And their function is to record footage of the events that are unfolding here and transmit it to Monokuma. What? Using their tiny cameras, they record footage and transmit it wirelessly. Mother Kuma receives the footage and parses it before sending it off to Monokuma. You mean, like a security camera? They're so small that they can't be seen with the naked eye. This must be the security cameras. Six monocubs been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. So they were security cameras after all? And they've been recording the footage wirelessly. Kokichi was correct to use the electroweb or electro bomb. When he used it, the nano cubs were unable to send any footage back to Monokuma. You're right. Yeah, in that case, I doubt Monokuma knew the real culprit. Um, the more I learn, the more I wish Kokichi had just worked with us normally. 
That's impossible. No matter how many times he reincarnates, he's a liar down to his soul. I never would have imagined this sixth monocup would be a security camera. That's how the Monokuma was able to keep watch of the entire academy. He's toying with us. It's not... He's not just confident. He's sure he's going to win. I know that that's what he must be thinking. Oh, yeah. At least we know an important detail now. I'm glad you told us before the class trial. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Kibo. Right You're welcome, but we should get going now. That's true. Yeah, we don't know what Monokuma will do if we show up late. That's fine. You're right. Then let's start heading to the trial grounds. Okay. okay. Still kind of upset that freaking Kibo decided to destroy our freaking mono our mono Kuma statue. It's the only thing I have left, Kibo. Like, come on. All right, let's go. There's no point in worrying anymore right now. We only need to think about getting out of here alive. And so, we just put the destroyed Ultimate Academy behind us and headed to the final trial grounds. I know, like. Freaking, we had Kibo, well not Kibo, we have Kaido and Nekamaru and the Monokuma statue. The things that Game Earth are silver, like in Danganronpa. Those three things. Carrying the last survivors, the elevator brought us down. What could be waiting for the five of us? I'm sure this is the end of despair and the beginning of hope. Everything ends here. Everything. The killing game of Hope's Peak Academy. The killing game of Jabberwock Island. And the killing game of this Ultimate Academy. How much more until they're satisfied? This is the end. I'm tired of this. We're going to end it. We're going to end this cruel game. So this is the final trial grounds. <laughs> it's not up to you or me to decide whether or not this is the end. Huh? What do you mean? More importantly, since you guys requested that we hold this class trial, I'm sure you won't mind allowing me to participate too, right? right. It'll be easier to argue if I do. That's true. True. I was going to have you participate this time, but I didn't think you'd volunteer. What is it? You seem confident. <laughs> with my magic. You're confident now, but I'm going to turn your money into an omnibus with my magic. Actually. An omnibus? Do you mean the vehicle or like a compilation book or knock it off i won't get provoked by your cheap threats Aww. he seems really provoked yeah, but if pops is gonna participate things are gonna get pretty damn interesting father. you can do it father <laughs> we'll cheer you on until your voices are hoarse and bleeding right monodom this is beautiful hmm. cheer me on <laughs> you guys are participating too yay it's so great we're here for it. Definitely don't need to listen to freaking Mono Kid and, you know, Monotaro. Definitely. No. Yay. Fun. Great. Love it. So excited. I thought it was going to be Monokuma exclusives. But I guess we got that in Trial 5. So that that's fine. You kids play a pivotal role. So what kind of dad would I be if I hugged all the spotlight? And if you kids don't play a pivotal role, then of what use are any of you? Uh, pivotal role? Can we really do that? I don't know. <laughs> don't worry. As a good parent, I'll do my darndest to motivate you. Well, With this button. What, what is that button for? Yeah. It's a monocup detonator that I prepared to ensure my adorable kids do their very best. Detonator? Yeah. Yep, with the push of this button, I'll detonate the bombs inside each and every one of your buddies. To make sure you try really, really hard, or I'll start pressing this button, got it? That goes too far. Uh, you know what they say. If your kids are cute, put a bomb inside of them. You stupid. That's not a real saying. Hey. I know you cute kids can do this. You just need the proper motivation. Uh, no need to worry. Just make sure you all play the pivotal roles. That's all. Oh, How absurd. I knew it. You really are the worst. 
I'm the best at being the worst, don't you think so? <laughs> I tell you, people can't get enough of my cruel antics. All right, let's get this started. Let's get the crude climax underway. Okay. So again, this is going to be a little bit faster. I do not need to save because if it does crash or anything happens, we have it literally right. We have both of them. So um, the thing we need to do is I applied charisma. Where'd it go? I literally just had it. Charisma. So yeah, so like I said, once Psychic Taxi begins, I'm back into new territory. Because it crashed while I was doing Psychic Taxi. I didn't even get the first answer off in Psychic Taxi. So... Like, not too far. It's just, like I said, it's more of a, like, what the heck? Why did that happen? I'd like to begin by asking Shuichi a question. Since this class trial was his idea, what exactly is the point of this class trial? Yeah! Why are we having a class trial if no one died? Whoa! My voice was way louder than I expected. I might be on a roll today. Hey! I'm no slouch of being a loud mouth either. We know. Me too. I got to hear both my water cups immediately that I don't like. Monodum's voice is super soft, though. Everyone cool with him getting blown up? No. You said that the killing game would end if you exposed the truth at the class trial. So, you bastards. What is the purpose of this class trial? Monodom is my precious. Oh, that's a good question. I'm like Smeagol with Monodom, okay? But just not that in to the ring. But his voice was quiet. Does voice for him not matter at all? The purpose of the class trial. All right. I'll give you an answer. The reason I called for this trial is... So, this one I got wrong initially, but... That's it. I mean, I got everything wrong Should initially, we but... try a past case? A retrial? Everything except for one. The first one. The murder of Rantaro Amami. I've found new evidence relevant to the case. In light of that evidence, I demand a retrial. What's the point of a retrial? The result of the first class trial has already been settled. Yeah, yeah. What if our vote was wrong? Mm hmm. So this is one of the things I actually brought up because uh, when I record this, I have uh, like a couple people that uh, like I watch or have watched just to make sure like everything's okay, everything's good, blah blah blah, and then we have fun. We chat about this after the fact. I specifically said, "What if we all die in the sake of hope?" That's like a weird twisted formality that my brain kind of was on a tangent on so and monokuma because he got it wrong would have to die as well weird morbid thought process that gamer's head was in but it's fine it's wrong. monokuma said the blackened for that incident was kaede are you saying he was wrong whoa, 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 whoa. Kid, your reactions are too extreme. It's making the rest of us look bad. Oh, oh shit! He's already got the detonator. Older brother, man, older brother. He's the eldest. Validity of our vote. We're going to retry the entire case. In my head, canon Monosuke is the eldest, with Monodon being the middle child. What would that make? Monofame is probably like the second eldest. If Monokuma was wrong, the validity of these trials would be in question. And that would make sense, because the ones I hit the most are the youngest, as far as the Monokubs go. That makes too much sense. The entire killing game wouldn't make sense anymore. I see. You think you can destroy the game by calling out my failure as the game master. You shouldn't have a problem with this if you have nothing to hide, Monokuma. <laughs> so in the end... The first case has become the focal point yet again. What a twist. What an interesting twist. 
Okay, let's do this. So what is this new truth? There are several. But before we go any further, I want to discuss Rantaro's talent. Did you learn what his talent was? Rantaro's ultimate talent was a mystery, but now I know. This was one of the ones I got right initially. That's it. He was the ultimate survivor. Ultimate survivor. I will say this this makes this video real fast paced for you guys. I saw it too. He said so in his video. Because there's not contemplation going on. Well, the truth is, this isn't your first killing game. You're the ultimate survivor. You survived the last killing game. That is why you get this perk. The survivor's perk. Rantaro became the ultimate survivor after surviving a past killing game. After his memory was wiped, he participated in the killing game once again. So this wasn't Rantaro's first killing game? Why did he participate in a second killing game? I'm not sure yet. But after I learned that Rantaro was the ultimate survivor, I deduced his objective. Rantaro's objective? The reason he went to the library before he was killed, and why he knew about the hidden door. Didn't he just happen to randomly notice the hidden door? That's what I thought at the time, but it appears that assumption was false. There was an actual reason Rantaro knew about the door. Yes, and that reason is his survivor perk. Which, again, another thing I got right initially. Which is part of why I recovered to full health. Tara was given this monopad as a kind of survivor perk. It has a map of the entire academy, including areas that had not yet been unlocked. Of course, that includes the hidden room. To think Rantaro was given that as a survivor perk. He found out about the hidden room with this map? The monopad also contained a video Rantaro recorded for himself. The clue to end the killing game. If the Mastermind ever needed a spare Monokuma, they would head to the hidden room. The message was what inspired him to go to the library to investigate the hidden room. A time limit is now in effect. If a murder does not occur by nighttime, two days from now, every student forced to participate in this killing game will die. Maul the shreds by countless Monokumas from the rumored Monokuma making machine. The mastermind would have gone to that room to mass produce Monokuma once time ran out. So, in order to figure out who the mastermind was, Rantaro went to the hidden room at the back of the library just before time ran out. That's right. Rantaro must have come to the same conclusion that Kaede and I did. It sure is ironic that the ultimate survivor died because of Kaede's trap. But if Rantaro had a clue like that, why didn't he come to us with it? I assume because he didn't trust us. The killing game had just started, after all. What he said in his video message certainly didn't help, either. Your best chance of exposing them is when Monokuma needs to spare. At the time, the Mastermind will go to the library's hidden room. To prove the hint is accurate, I will predict something. The first thing you will remember is the ultimate hunt. Only share this information with people who you know you can trust. How you determine that will mean your life or your death. He told himself to only share this information with people he could trust. He didn't have any recollection of filming this message, right? Nope. That means he must have had trouble believing it as well. It was probably confusing to him too. That's why he didn't consult us. Why the long face? It's nothing. I figured no one would listen to some guy who can't even remember his own talent, right? 
This is exactly what Monokuma wants us to do. So, what else is part of this plan? Is my memory part of it too? If it is, then... Can I even trust myself? He didn't know if he could trust that video, or trust us, or even trust himself. He must have been so lost. But with the time limit approaching, he decided to take a chance. There's no need for that, because I'm going to end this killing game. I've already decided. You're going to end the killing game? It's not about unfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about the ending the game itself. That's the real goal. Can you even accomplish such a feat? I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't think I could. So we went to the library alone, without telling anyone. And then he got killed by Kaede's trap. The only people who knew about the hidden door at that time were Rantaro and I. I had Kaede with me, and I thought I could trust her. So I told her about the hidden room. That was the difference between me and Rantaro, I suppose. I had Kaede. And Kaede's the one who killed him! What a snake! So, what are you guys talking about? Is this something I forgot? I don't know anything about what they're saying. Is this something yeah. that transpired before we were both... Now, this was an interesting thing, too, because the Monocubs don't remember any of things prior to Chapter 5 so far, which is weird to me that they don't know that, but it'll be I'll be interested to see when that gets revealed or why. You know who Rantaro was and why he did what he did, but it's pointless now, isn't it? No, it's not pointless. Now that we know this new information, if we look back at Rantaro's case, we can find a new truth that we missed at the time. A new truth? I don't really get it, but we just need to look at Rantaro's case again, right? Then let's do it. Yes, let's do this together. With my vast magical powers, I'll turn Monokuma into an omnibus. I don't really get that either, but I guess we're gonna republish Monokuma. I'm not too sure either, but the real battle is just beginning. We'll prove the result was wrong and quarter the mastermind together. Now, for the answers that I do know, what I'm going to do. Hold on, you'll see what I'm gonna do. Just before Monokuma's time limit expired. Using the information provided by the survivor bird, he made his way to the hidden door. To expose the identity of the mastermind. But before he could achieve that goal, he got hit in the head with a shot football and died. Because of Kaede's fully automatic killing machine! Eh, fully automatic? There was no culprit at the scene. The only one in the library at the time of the murder was Rantaro himself. I'm going to basically, if it's closer to the beginning, I'll let it play out. I don't think we had any that were close to the beginning, but if it was, I'd let it play out. But since this is one, since that one is at the end, we can just go with that. This survivor perk monopad is proof of that. Why would that monopad be evident? The monopad was given exclusively to Rantaro as his survivor perk, correct? But when we searched Rantaro's body, he didn't have it on his person. He only had his student handbook monopad. Which means that someone took this monopad from Rantaro after the murder. That's very wrong! That's what we've been saying! What? Uh, keep quiet, will you? I don't have time for your nonsense right now. Really? I have no clue what anyone is talking about. If we don't chime in soon, Pops is gonna push the detonator. Then we better not let these fucking chumps run their maps anymore!
Rotting mana pad is disgusting. You should wash it right away. That's not a real Rizzotto. Someone stole the survivor perk. Where's the proof? No way there's a bloody thief. But remember, Rantaro brought the survivor perk monopad to the library. That's trigger space still. <laughs> if it's missing now, that must mean someone stole it. The fact that it doesn't the, the text didn't line up. Oh. I think there's maybe no way that's possible. All he had on him was the student handbook monopad. He didn't bring the survivor perk with him. I'll cut this is actually where I cut it immediately too. Like I actually got that one pretty quickly. No. There is no doubt Rantaro brought the survivor perk monopad to the library. The picture taken just before he died clearly shows him holding it. That could be his student handbook monopad, bro. You fucking know. No, it was definitely the same monopad. You see the way the blood has dried here? The outline of his fingers matches how he was holding it in the picture. Oh, you're right. Shortly after this photo was taken, Rantaro was struck in the head by the shot put ball. Do you think that's when this bloody outline on the monopad was formed? I do. That's why the monopad Rantaro was holding in this picture. Has to be the same monopad we have now. What? Come on, no overreacting. It makes us look like we're not paying attention. Scream all you want. Monaske is the one that's gonna get blown up. Yes, Coins! Freaking go. I'm so happy. No, honestly, no. I actually like had a different cheer when I saw that for the first time. Yes, I cheer for Hater Hater's death. It finally happened. Moving on. <laughs> Took forever. <laughs> finally. I'm so upset my cute cubs lost that my finger slipped. Oh no. Thank you, Mon Monokuma. But Thank you. Some pretty fireworks. Even in death, my kid's a real cutie. I'm so glad he's gone. I hear lions push their cubs into bottomless ravines to kill them. They don't kill them. So there was a thief, huh? I can't believe someone would do something so evil. So who took the monopad? Do you know anything else? Do we know anything about that person who took Rantaro's monopad? I think we do. But let's get my facts straight and thank. So this is where I don't know any information. We're back to not knowing. This is where it fucking crashed. And I'm so mad. Sorry, F-bomb. But... Literally crashed, like, right here. I was so mad. How many monopads did Rantaro have in the library? Party wants to say it was one, but... No, he didn't have both. Okay. Oh, a short question. Oh, another short question. Where was it taken to? Oh, damn. 
Interesting. Okay. We went 444 on Psychic Taxi. Look at us go. The one who took that monopad is the mastermind. I'm sure of it. The mastermind? The survivor perk monopad was found in the library's hidden room. And only the mastermind would have been able to enter that room, correct? Between the time Rantaro died and when we found him, they put that monopad in the hidden room? Nope! That's impossible! Impossible? Why? Huh? You don't know? Why, even my cute little cubs have already figured it out! Huh? We have? Oh, Lord. Yeah, so... I'll let Monotaro explain. Huh? I've already forgotten what we're even talking about. Oh, crap, he's gonna push it! It's gonna be Monokin all over again! I was hoping Monotaro was gone. Mastermind is not in any of the photos taken in the library. Why is that? Huh? Monodum! You better be the last one. You better be the last one. Oh, that's true. In order to get to the hidden room, you need to move the bookcase, right? But Shuichi and Kaede set up those hidden cameras, so... If the mastermind was using that door, they would have been caught on camera. None of the pictures showed anyone like that. Then, that reasoning is wrong. Amazing, Monodum! Well done! Hold on. The hidden cameras in the library had interval timers. They did. 30 seconds. Yep. I redesigned the cameras to auto-roll the film instead of having to do it manually. Perhaps the mastermind worked within that 30 second interval? And that is possible. I see. So the mastermind hid in the hidden room, waited for the right timing, grabbed the monopad from the library, and then returned to the hidden room. Hold on! There's a flaw in your logic. Interesting. I literally agreed with everything that Himiko just said. That, I'm thinking the same thing. Like, I my brain literally just went on the same exact track. Himiko literally explained my brain's thought process. Huh? Don't ask me. The Mono Cubs are gonna explain it. What? Again? Reject your logic without explaining why. That's the Monokuma debate style. Take it from here, Mono Cubs. And you better use your brains or I'll kill ya! What? What are we arguing about again? The, the hidden camera! Isn't it weird that the mastermind's not in any photos? Unless they use the interval between shots. The camera has a 30 second interval between shots. That's enough time to take the monopad from the body. Then where was the mastermind hiding? In the hidden room, of course! If they were still inside the hidden room, how would they know what was happening in the library? If you don't know when the camera went off, how would you know the interval timing? Bravo, Monodum! Wonderful objection! Now we've escaped certain death! I know the mastermind was trying to time it. And of course the mastermind would be able to hit the right timing. What are we arguing about again? The, the hidden camera! Because you don't have to go, like, you can push it out. Not in any photos? Ha ah! And of course they would be able to know the right timing. What are we arguing about the six. Again? Is the six the mono cub it? Because the, if they're in the hidden room. Not in any photos? Unless they use the interval between shots. The camera has a 30 second interval between shots. That's enough time to take the monopad from the body. Then where was the mastermind hiding? In the hidden room, of course! If they were still inside the hidden room, 
How would they know what was happening? What? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. If you don't know when the camera Let's go! felt so good that felt good that felt good that felt good oh my mind saw what was happening they had surveillance cameras that felt so good that felt way too good let's keep going surveillance cameras sorry about it um it's okay you'll get me later it's fine where would something like that be you don't know even though they're mono cubs just like you I mean these. Oh, so cute and tiny. <laughs> Although my <laughs> aren't they? They're your siblings too. <laughs> Although mine and I'm probably gonna die for that, but it's fine. That's a big reveal to drop so casually. These little guys are called nanokumas. Their job is to monitor the campus. So you knew what they were, Monotaro. Okay. told me he said to make sure i told everyone and you didn't die die you need to die for that death 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 good thing i just remembered kill him monokuma kill my second place favorite monokum please i am blood seething for this dumbass you remember too late i am seething for this there are countless nanokumas buzzing all over the campus i roll <laughs> All the footage they record is wirelessly transmitted through Mother Kuma. Yes. And then sent to Monokuma. Yes, via Mother Kuma. That's an important point. If Mother Kuma receives the camera feeds, the mastermind could ask it anything. They would know about the situation in the library and the hidden room. I see. Mother Kuma can tell them the interval timers for the cameras. Then the mastermind was in the hidden room after they stole the monopad from Rantaro. But why would they steal the monopad? The mastermind was probably terrified by the idea of us picking up Rantaro's perk. No, that's wrong! I wasn't necessarily afraid. The survivor perk was for Rantaro's eyes only. Sure, he could have shared the info with you, but that's not the same as getting the info directly from the monopad. Cause then you can't say it was a survivor perk for Rantaro's eyes only, right? So when he died, I took it back. That's all. Still weird of him to do. I don't know about that. Hmm. How do you figure? You look calm now, but at the time, you must have been pretty desperate. The monopad clearly stated that there was a mastermind in the academy. If we knew then that a mastermind was behind everything, we would have worked together. But you couldn't let that happen. You needed us to go after each other. Either way, you admit the mastermind stole the monopad, right? Well, yes, but only reluctantly. <laughs> As a monokuma should. Then the mastermind messed up. If they wanted to retrieve the monopad, they should have used monokuma to do it. Nope, that's impossible. I can't participate in a murder, which includes tampering with the crime scene. Yup. The school rules. If you're so strict about following the rules, does that mean <clears throat> that someone is watching? If that's the case. Still, what a waste of a survivor perk. If only he lived a little longer, then this info would have made things interesting. Changing the subject. It's what Monokuma does. I still don't have the whole picture, but it seems that we are all being watched. In this case, this plan should go well. If I ruin this killing game by proving that it doesn't follow its own rules, I should be able to end the whole thing. But the point 
point of this class trial is to discuss Rantaro's case, right? The mastermind stealing his survivor perk shouldn't affect it whatsoever. In the end, Kaede killed him. There's no shaking off that truth. Yeah, yeah! One truth prevails! No, that's not the truth. I'm certain of that. It's a lie that you made up. Me? Lie? That's right. Kaede wasn't the one who killed Rantaro. The true culprit.